Swift gives us two ways to combine strings together. One is to join them using plus, and another is a special technique called string interpolation that lets us build strings from other strings and other types of data. Let's start with the easiest one first, using plus to join strings together. Let's say you have some strings. For example, let first part equals hello, and let second part equals world. We can join these together just by writing plus. We could say let greeting equals first part plus second part, and it's done, it'll be hello world. You can, if you want to, do this multiple times, adding multiple strings. We could have said something like let people equals haters, let action equals hate, and then let lyric equals people plus gunner plus action. And when that runs, it'll create haters gonna hate. Yes, I am a massive Taylor Swift fan, and to be fair, I think her lyrics make a great choice for a Swift programming tutorial. Now notice how we're using plus here to join strings together, but previously we used it to add integers and doubles. What's happened? Well, the answer is what you're seeing is called operator overloading. The ability for one operator like plus to do different things depending on how it's used. So for strings, string plus string means concatenation, joining together. Whereas integer plus integer means addition, adding them together. This also applies to the compound assignment operator plus equals to add a string to an existing string variable. Now this technique works great for small things, but you really wouldn't want to do it too much. You see, each time Swift sees two strings being joined together using plus, it'll have to add them one at a time. So A plus B plus C it has to do A plus B first and then add C. And if you have lots of things being concatenated or joined together, it's very wasteful. For example, here's some code. Let luggage code equals one as a string, plus two as a string, plus three as a string, plus four as a string, plus five as a string. The same combination I have in my luggage, by the way. Now, Swift cannot join all those strings into one, two, three, four, five in one pass. It can't do that. Instead, it'll join the first two to make one, two. It'll then add the three to that to make one, two, three. Then add the four to that to make one, two, three, four. And finally, add the five to it to make one, two, three, four, five. It's going to make temporary strings, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, even though they aren't ultimately used when our code has finished. Here, Swift has a better solution called string interpolation. It lets us efficiently create strings from other strings, but also from integers, from doubles, and more. Now, if you remember, earlier I said you could include quotes inside strings as long as you have a backslash before the quote. So Swift knows, treat this thing specially. Something very similar happens with string interpolation. You place a backslash and then write your constant or variable name in parentheses, and it'll do the rest for you. It'll insert it directly in there. For example, we could create a string using uh, an integer and a string and something else very easily. We could say, uh, let name equals Taylor, let age equals 26. So now we have a string and an integer. And then I'll say, let greeting equals, hello, not greeting, sorry, message. I've already used greeting. Let message equals, hello, my name is name, and I'm age years old and then print out message. And when that code runs, it's gonna print out, hello, my name is Taylor, and I'm 26 years old. It's put the string and the integer into the message string. And this is much more efficient than using plus to join strings one by one by one, but there's another important benefit too, which you can see here, I'm adding in integers to strings. You see, using plus lets you join a string to a string or we'll add an int and an int, or we'll add a double and a double. They all work, same type on both sides, but you can't add integers to string with plus. It doesn't work. Swift will refuse to allow it. For example, if you had something like, uh, let number equals 11, let mission message equals Apollo, uh, plus number plus landed on the moon, right? 
That kind of code is not allowed. Swift's trying to add a dull, an integer and a string, it refused. Now you could, if you wanted to, ask Swift to treat this integer as if it were a string. I can say make a string from that integer and that code is allowed, you can do that. But it is still faster and easier to read to use string interpolation. Just to say directly in here, backslash parentheses number, like that. Now a pro tip for you, you can if you want to include calculations inside your string interpolation if you want to. For example, I could say print 5x5 is string interpolation 5 star 5. Multiply it directly inside interpolation and that when it runs will print out correctly 5 times 5 is 25.